Hi guys, this is Andy from Man City Fan TV and this is Mara's Watch episode 4 versus Leicester City in the Carabao Cup. So, Riyad Mahrez last night um, was given an opportunity to play against his old club. <sighs> Just going backwards in, rather than going forwards. I think that's what four opportunities now he's been given by Pep Guardiola on the run. You know, where before we thought, you know, he's in and out of the team and maybe he could get a little bit better. But last night, I just thought, yeah, he was poor, really, really poor. And he's one of the senior players. We've spent six, he's a most expensive signing for 60 million quid. Um, and I'm, I'm sort of erring towards the fact of, you know, with people have said, well, he needs to time to integrate. Well, yeah, he's he's been given four, five games on the trot now, and he's getting worse in each one rather than getting better or showing signs. I mean, last night he was wasteful in possession, slow in possession, giving the ball away. Body language wasn't brilliant. You know, a couple of opportunities that he should at least make the keeper make a save. Um, just really disappointed in him. Um, I just don't see if Sane and Sterling are anywhere near fit, how he gets back into this team. I just don't. Maybe for the cup competition, maybe for the semi-final, I just can't see Premier League-wise unless we really desperately need to rest someone. How he gets anywhere near the team because he's not performing at anywhere near the level of Sane and Sterling. Um, and I said last night, and it was maybe a bit tongue in cheek, but you know we're paying Mara's what one hundred and fifty, one hundred and seventy five thousand pound a week, um, and yet we've got the opportunity of losing Brahim Diaz. Um, I'd rather give throw a load of money at Diaz and give Foden some extra money, and keep two future potential stars at Man City than keep giving Mara's the time and time and time again this game time, where he's just regressing. Uh, he's not doing anything. Uh, or bringing anything apart from this little spurt he had where he scored a few goals and a couple of assists weeks and weeks and weeks ago. So, yeah, maybe being a bit harsh, maybe he does need more time. And, uh, you know, I was really, really wanting Mahrez at Man City. I thought he'd be a wonderful addition and bring something different, but maybe it's his position he's playing in out wide on the right. It's just not suited to him because he can't beat a player and it just doesn't affect the game at the moment. So, Hopefully, maybe Pep will try him inside and see whether that brings anything different because right now it's not working. So, Mares for me, for last night's game, it gets a very lucky six. Anyway, guys, this is Sandy from Man City Fan TV. This is Mares Watch episode four. Uh, four. Uh, don't forget, we'll be at the game at Crystal Palace on Saturday. If Mares plays, then we'll give you a Mares uh, episode five uh, versus Crystal Paris, uh, Palace. So, over to you guys. Give us your comments below. Do you think we're unfair? Do you, do you think he deserved more than a six after last night's performance? But this is Andy from Man City Fan TV. This is Mara's Watch.